Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I think this is the first clip that I'm actually filming because it's Sunday and I'm starting a week in my life but I wanted to film a clip today. My hair is crazy but you can't really see it because the light is very bright. Um, because I went shopping today with a couple friends. We went to this really awesome, it's an ice cream place but they had espresso and hot chocolate and we got our first hot chocolate of the holiday season. They had these really good like marshmallow fluff rimmed hot chocolate drinks and they were delicious so i got a couple clips of that and then it was just like a really pure holiday in new york kind of day like it really felt like the beginning of the christmas season to me so um, a couple friends and i got those drinks and we went down to nordstrom the flagship on 57th street and we went shopping we spent a couple hours there and i got some stuff which i'll show you we went to sephora because they're having a sale for like cyber monday or whatever even though they just had their annual or biannual sale semi-annual whatever the fuck but yeah i actually got some good stuff so i'm going to show you that to kick off this vlog and then the rest will be a work week in my life i just got back yesterday from oregon i spent the week there for thanksgiving and now we're back getting back into the swing of things here in new york before i leave on friday i look crazy because i was just like walking through the rain and i didn't actually style my hair today i just dried it this week is exciting but also <laughs> intimidating and stressful because it is the last week leading up to a big work trip. I guess I might as well say now I've kind of alluded to it, but on Friday, so four days from now, oh my God, I am flying to Dubai in the UAE to go to COP28, which is the UN Climate Change Conference. It's in Dubai this year. It moves around year to year. I'm so excited. I cannot believe I've only been at this job for a month now and I already get to go to this massive conference. I've never been to COP. It's a big deal people and delegations and policymakers from all over the world are going and i'm going with a delegation for my organization we're hosting a couple events doing some meetings attending other events so it's been like a big deal building up to it a lot of my work so far the last couple weeks has been in preparation of cop and i'm trying to get my life together and like figure out everything it's going to be a hectic work week already last week when i was home for thanksgiving it was hectic just like pulling together things in the last home stretch before COP begins. It's longer than we're going. We're going for about five days. I'm leaving Friday morning and then because it's such a long flight, it's like a 14 hour flight. I've never been on a flight that long in my life. Um, it's in the time change, we get in Saturday morning and then our first event is on Sunday. And then we have back to back to back stuff. So I'm gonna be at the conference until Wednesday and then we fly back on Thursday. Actually, it's like super early morning. My flight is at 2.30 a.m. on Thursday, so. So I wanted to say that because I've been trying to keep it not like secret just because there it took a while before it was confirmed that I was gonna go, which I did mention. But now I feel like it's a good time to say it because I'll probably be like talking about preparing and stuff and all of that. I got my pass got my visa things are falling into place we're doing last minute things for our events and it's just like a lot and it's going to be insane but i'm so excited about it and i wanted to show you guys i mean part of this week is going to be obviously preparing for that so i wanted to say what that was and i'll be vlogging what i can i know i'm there for work so we'll see i might not get too much footage at the actual conference um, but it'd also be cool to show you guys like what the UN climate change conference is like. It'll be cool for me to see it too. And hopefully I'll get like a few clips just to give you some insight. One of the things that I really wanted is a new work bag. I have one that I kind of use that's like this briefcase one, but it's not very big and it doesn't hold my laptop well with other things in it. So I wanted something that had plenty of space that I could like use as a purse and a work bag with folders and my laptop and blah, blah, blah. So I got a work bag in Nordstrom. You can probably see it in the back. That was my main thing that I was looking for. And I looked online before I went and found one that I was hoping would work. And luckily I saw it in person and it did work. So I got that. And then I got another outfit to wear. I already have my other outfits planned. So I'm all set there. I am a little bit concerned about shoes because I struggle with shoes. And I need something that's like walkable for all day, but is still cute and professional looking. And I just don't know. I still might buy a pair of shoes. <laughs> Gotta figure it out. I have a cute pair of nude booties, but I know that they hurt my feet too much to be walking around this giant conference area. It's at Expo City Dubai, 
which is massive. I found another outfit, so now I'm complete with my outfit planning. So let's show you guys what I got after that really long intro. First off, this is the work bag that I found. I wanted something very simple, classy, professional looking, but also went with everything, and I decided to go for the black. They did have a nice kind of nude tan color, but it just wasn't neutral enough. It was a little darker than I would have liked for it to go with everything, so I went with the black, and I feel like it'll take wear and tear a little bit better. Molly and Lily. And it is called, is it, I don't even know if it has a name. I guess here's the, <laughs> there's the like info on it. It was only $90, which I think is pretty good. It's vegan leather. It's a good size. It has like good width to it. It has this little detail strap on the back and a zip compartment. I can fit my entire hand in here. So there's plenty of space back here and it zips all the way closed. It has so many compartments, you guys, which I really wanted. It has a detachable little pouch that you can use. Just a little zip compartment. And it has this laptop sleeve. I like the inside design. I thought that was kind of fun. Laptop sleeve. Here's a little dust bag. Oh, well, even a water bottle holder. Is that what that is? See, they just thought of everything. I love bags that have a ton of different compartments and organization. A zip inside. And it feels really nice for not being ridiculously expensive. I am so excited about this and it is perfect for what I need. I honestly couldn't design a better bag for what I wanted. So really glad I found that at Nordstrom. I think the white color online might be on sale, um, but I wanted black. So I got this really quick. This is just like a t-shirt I got at BP. It was pretty inexpensive. It was $30, $29. And I really want a red top. I was thinking about getting like a chunky knit sweater. Um, but I thought this would be nice for holiday season. I can layer it, wear it with like my puffer vest or something. And just, and honestly, you could wear it like PJ wise. Like it's light and thin. You wear it with like, you know, flannel pants or something, Christmassy, but also, you know, casual and you could wear it out. So BP has some really good t-shirts. It's in the color red salsa. This was something I did not expect, but I'm loving. This is a skirt suit that I'm gonna wear in Dubai. It's gonna be really warm there, but I'm figuring we're gonna be inside and hopefully it won't be too hot, but I wanna layer, so I'll probably wear like, like a short sleeve under this so I can take it off when we're traveling and outside and whatever. So this is by Mango. This is so fun. It's so cute on, I love it. It's so comfortable. I love a good skirt suit. It's called like speckled tweed blazer or something like that. It's cropped. I love a cropped blazer. It does have very small pockets. I don't even know if they're real, are they? I can't tell. They might be in there. I'd love to have actual pockets, so we'll see. And the skirt is a perfect length. They didn't exactly have my sizing. The only jacket they had was a small, but it still fits. It was a bit snug, but it didn't look that way. And I wasn't planning to wear anything thick under it anyway, so I was like, you know what? It's fine. And then the only skirt they had, I think they had a small, but I am a medium or large, so I went with the large. It is a bit big, but not in the sense where it's falling off and it looks fine. It's just like a bit, it's not like quite as snug as it's supposed to be, but it still works. And it looks so cute together. I think I'll wear a black top under it. And then my Sephora stuff, they just had their sale, so I wasn't expecting anything for like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. But someone DM me that this avocado eye treatment that I just got recently, the mini of, was on sale. It was half off, so I got the full size that's usually $60, and it was only $30, which is amazing. So I know that this is probably going to be over when you guys see this, so I'm sorry. But I did post it on my Instagram story, so if you want to see more in, you know, the moment kind of things like that, follow me on Instagram. This is the 0.95 fluid ounce. I love the eye cream. I'm really glad that I was able to try that little mini mini. <laughs> so I got this one, $30. And then I also got the... Summer Friday's jet lag mask. I got the small one, it's one ounce. Um, I tried this in the store and loved it and I think this will be great. It is, you know, jet lag designed for travel and I definitely gonna need all the help I can get on a 14 hour flight. So obviously you can wear it whenever, you don't have to wear it on a plane, but that's kind of like how it's marketed. That is my haul, I've been talking for a while and this vlog is gonna be long enough. I can already tell from the rest of the week of me preparing to go to Dubai. And that is what I got. This is my entire shop. Actually, that's a lie. I do have something else to show you. Besides, I did finally get a pair of Hoka's. I went shopping with my mom last weekend and I didn't really find much, but I did try on Hoka's 
in the store and I've been really in the market for new walking, running, exercise shoes. In the past, I've had a hard time finding all white hokas in my size, but I tried them on and I really, really like the Clifton style at REI. I tried them on and they didn't have the all white, but I found them online at Foot Locker and ordered them to my apartment while I was at home and they were here when I got here and they're so perfect. These are the Clifton Nines. I really like them because they felt lighter on my feet than the Bondi, is that what they're called? Still super comfy and good for walking. So really happy about these. That is another purchase. They weren't on sale or anything, but they were cheaper than the Bondi and I like them. So yeah, that is my haul. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff away and I think tonight I'm gonna put up my Christmas tree. I'm super hungry, so I'm gonna eat some dinner and Get ready for the week ahead and all of the madness to come, which you guys will be right there with me all. like halfway through the day already on Monday it is November 27th and I just I haven't even had time to like film an intro clip I've been go 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 and it's been a little bit crazy this week is gonna be crazy I mean like I said we're leaving for a cop on Friday but I just didn't get a chance to say hello this morning I mean I did kind of because I went to the grocery store at like right when they opened it was so nice it was empty I didn't even have to wait in line hardly and that was great. So I did get groceries. I was debating because I'm leaving, but I still have four days and like I have literally nothing. So I got some salmon to make and a couple other breakfast things. Nothing crazy exciting, nothing new. I'm gonna make salmon bowls that I've made a million times. But yeah, so I'm pretty much like hyper-focused on work this week. I mean, always, but like, especially. I just got off a meeting and Follow it up with an email. Okay, I have a meeting in a couple hours, so I'm gonna send another email and then grab something to eat really quick before that other meeting, and I'm just working from home today. All good things, like I think things are coming together. It's just like, you know, when you're building up to something that you've been working on and it's like crunch time. I was telling my friend it feels like tech week. I think it's just gonna be hectic for the next two weeks until I get back from cop, but it's fun. I don't know, I like being busy and I like having a million things on my to-do list. I kind of thrive in chaotic environments, so doing well. It's later now. Today has gone by so fast, and I feel like the hours have just like flown, and I think it's because I have a million things to do. I also had a meeting this afternoon with like our operations team, and they were helping me like walk through some of the like expense reports and travel stuff just because I haven't been on a work trip before. I haven't done much of anything here before because I started a month ago. So that was really helpful and it was also just nice to like get to know them a little bit more because I haven't really worked one-on-one -on -one with them yet and I haven't been in the office. Kind of exciting though, I think I might actually be going to DC to go into the office for a meeting and also for like the holiday team stuff, mid-December. But yeah, that was really nice. And then the rest of the afternoon, I've been <laughs> incessantly typing and aggressively emailing and all that. I'm shaking up my pre-workout pre -workout right now. The sun is gone, so I turned on my filming light. I'm gonna go down to the gym. I thought about going to the store tonight. I wanna, you guys, I've solidified most of my outfits for this trip, except I don't love my pair of black shoes. I would really like to have like a nice comfortable slingback kitten heel like I have a vision I'll just go to the store tomorrow and hope that I find something there's a naturalizer store in Manhattan randomly naturalizer is like one of those I used to think of it as like grandma shoes they're like designed to be comfortable brand hopefully I'm not misquoting I'm sure someone working at naturalizer would not agree with that sentiment but I'm gonna go to their store that's near Herald Square and there's a couple other places that I can look around there if I don't find what I want. I'm crossing my fingers that I'll find something that works and is comfy and looks good with the outfits that I have planned. Tonight I'm fixing up pre-workout, it's five o'clock, so I'm just wrapping up um, my last emails and tying up loose ends from today before I log off in like half an hour or so. 
and I'm sipping my pre-workout in the meantime because I want to go and work out. I really barely worked out when I was at home. I didn't really. I just walked. Wow, I forgot how good this pre-workout is. Gotta love a new. Seven foot pre-lit tree for Michaels. It is originally $140. <laughs> which is expensive, but I just looked it up because people were asking me for the link on Instagram and it's 70% off right now. It's literally 40 bucks, such a good deal. So I'll try to remember to link it, even if it's not still on that sale. I feel like they do sales on those all the time. So I'll link it down below regardless. Hopefully it's still on a good sale. And Michael's is great for trees. Honestly, if you like artificial trees, it's nice and skinny, good for apartments. It's been a really good day though. I feel like I've been really productive. Things are happening. We're making progress. It's just like slowly climbing the mountain. <laughs> Back from the gym, showered and just made salmon bowls for dinner. I did rice this time with my little like bell pepper avocado corn side and the salmon looks overdone but it's just on one side and it's cooked well I promise. Well I don't promise I haven't tried it yet but it smells amazing. Okay happy Tuesday everyone. It's been another kind of crazy morning and now it's not even morning it's 1 p.m. And I'm just now um, talking to the vlog because I've been like frantically emailing again. Um, I feel like I've done so much, but then I also like look and I don't have anything to show for it. Like, you know, those times when you're just like email, 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 communication, connecting with this person, and then you don't actually have time to like do the work that you need to. It's been like one of those. It's still productive and necessary, but it's still just like, what have I even accomplished? It's been good though. It's going by fast again. I feel like last week and this week so far have gone by pretty quickly. I just got ready on my like lunch break. I, I didn't need any food though, so I need to make lunch after this. But basically I'm jumping on a call, just like touching base with my supervisor, like our weekly check-in um, in a minute or two. And then I have an in-person event that I'm attending this afternoon. So I wanted to get ready for that. And it's freezing outside. I think the high is like 36. I'm not good at dressing professionally in the freezing cold, but we'll see what we can do. After that, I'm gonna head to the store that I was gonna look for shoes at. It's later, I'm making up some food now. And I had to show you guys, this is so exciting. I went on this whole journey <laughs> yesterday evening. After I cooked my dinner, I was taking out some recycling. And in the recycling room, I walk in and I see this KitchenAid mixer on the ground. And when people leave things in the recycling room, it's like for either the people who work in the building to take it out. It's trash, recycling, they're getting rid of it. Or if there's something that's like usable, it's just open for grabs. Like people just leave things there if they don't want them anymore, essentially. And I see a KitchenAid mixer and I had to do a double and triple take because I was like, there's no way that someone is just giving this away. Like it must be broken. I see that there's this entire warning taped to the top of it. And it says, this KitchenAid K5 SS, at least 25 years old, has lived a long life and still works. However, should it end up in the hands of a new owner, please be aware. The motor slash power switch has a short and the machine can turn on expectedly, I think they mean unexpectedly, even when it's in the off position. It must be stored unplugged and be unplugged whenever handling except when it's engaged with the bowl lifted and in contact with ingredients. The bowl can sometimes jump off the pins when kneading dense doughs with the dough hook. Proceed with caution as you may need to hold it down or change to kneading by hand. Use safely and at your own risk. So they literally typed out an entire warning for the new owner and I have happily adopted it as the new owner and I'm so thrilled about this. KitchenAids are expensive. I don't have any sort of mixing tools. I've thought about getting just a hand mixer even and I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I think that fate dropped this in my hands and I don't care that she's imperfect and sometimes jumps on randomly when she's supposed to be off. But I'm happily going to store her unplugged and use it when I need. This is so exciting. So I got a free KitchenAid. This was my favorite Cyber Monday deal and I hope it's not eternally haunted. Okay, I fully got dressed and ready and I even put on shoes 
and I was getting ready to go because like I said I was going to this in-person event this afternoon I think I'm just gonna stay home and watch it virtually because it is gonna be online and I'm kind of thinking like I have so much to do that spending 40 minutes to get there on the train even during the workday even though I can like respond to emails and stuff on my phone, I can't do everything I need to. I don't think I can spare the time. So I'm all dressed to stay home and tune in online while I do my other work. <laughs> so kind of lame, um, but in more exciting news, it's snowing outside, you guys. I cannot believe, I hope you can see, it's so light. There's like barely any flurries where could you see this it like just barely started also this window is dirty which does not help my cause okay well you can't even see but i promise it is just barely snowing which is the first snow of the winter it's not even winter yet but how exciting okay now it's dark out <laughs> i've logged off for the day done with work and i'm actually really glad that i decided to attend that virtually because it was very nice to be able to kind of like work a little bit on the side when they were talking about things that were relevant um, to me or whatnot. So, but it was actually so interesting and a really good panel ahead of everything we're doing next week. Now, I feel like this lip color really does not look good on me. Um, this is supposed to be the like universal flattering, um, Clinique honey dupe, the Nivea Blackberry Shine. And usually I'll just do like one little swipe, but I did a few because my lips feel dry. And it looks very red here. So it's 5.30. I'm going to run to run. I'm going to take the train to 34th and go to the naturalizer store and some of the stores around there. It closes at 7. I have an hour and a half and it's going to take me half an hour to get there. So I got to go. 34th Street is literally all the stores that would be next to each other in a mall. Like Foot Locker and Macy's and all this stuff. Found it. Great success. I got a pair of slingback shoes and they were so comfy and I think they're going to be great for the outfits I have planned. They were so nice in there. It was like empty, so I had this whole store to myself. And it was great. I tried on another pair, but it was too wide on one of my feet, so I didn't get it. But yeah, anyway, now I might just stop in a couple other stores because it's still early. Got some stuff. I'm so excited about the things that I found. And I think I don't need to do any more shopping for this trip. I mean, I didn't get that much stuff, honestly. I did get shoes and naturalizer, the ones that I got a clip of me trying on. I love them. They're so cute. They're not like the cutest in the entire world. They had a pair that were like slightly more pointed at the toe that looked a little nicer, but they didn't have them in my size. But these are great anyway. So I'll show you them. Um, I'll bring them out in a second. But then I also stopped by Aldo just to see what shoes they had. And I didn't get shoes, but I got some rings. I know these are like cheap, um, but I really just need some more stackable rings that aren't really built to last and they were on sale. So I got a bunch of little gold ones and I got these sunnies. How fun are these? I don't have any like light brown colored sunglasses. I tried them on and it's kind of like a Y2K <laughs> look. They don't block the light a ton. They're more just for the look. I'm not sure if this is giving the full effect either, but I thought this would be cute when I'm wearing more like neutral tones rather than I have black sunglasses I wear all the time. Eight bucks. And then I got a top at Zara unexpectedly. Honestly, the Zara in Herald Square was not very busy for an evening after work and they had some good stuff. So I got this top neutral tank. It was only 10 bucks and it feels pretty nice. It's got a good stretch to it. I got a medium. I just thought this would be a good kind of staple for layering and work stuff and casual. I really like it. And then my shoes I'll show you. These are the Dolly style, I wanna say. It might be on here somewhere. But yeah, they're pretty simple, just like sling back kitten heel. Yeah, the toe has like a little bit of a square at the end instead of pointed all the way, but I still think they look really nice and they're so comfy. Most importantly, that's what Naturalizer is known for. They're like the comfy shoes. Um, I actually sized down. I tried on a seven and my heel was slipping out even on the tightest setting. So we tried a six and a half and they worked just fine. They weren't too tight on the toe. My left foot was a bit tight on the toe, but she said that I could just like use a blow dryer and some socks and stretch it a little bit and it should be fine. But they were very easy to walk in and I think this would be really cute with my outfits. Better than like 
my black booties that cover the entire foot. I just feel like for certain looks, I think this suits it better. Big fan, and they were on sale for, uh, I think, 99. I'm excited, I'm gonna try my outfits with them and see how it goes. But now I'm hungry, it's like 7.30. I actually made good time at the stores and also walking by Macy's, it was so cute and festive. I got clips of that. I'm gonna try this stuff on and then eat dinner and I need to finish my vlog that's going up this week. But yeah, feeling accomplished with this. Good morning, everyone, we are, <laughs> really leaning into the Christmas spirit with my red shirt. I just got this one. Oh yeah, I filmed it in this vlog from Nordstrom and I'm loving it. It's very thin though, so I'm a little bit chilly, so I'm wearing a vest over it. So it's giving the <laughs> Santa Claus. I have to jump on a meeting in just a couple minutes. The workday just started and I'm like catching up my emails and stuff. And then I have back-to-back -back meetings. Um, this one I'm a little bit nervous for because it's like an external meeting that I'm facilitating for the first time, but it'll be fine. Facilitating meetings is so awkward because like you're always the one that's like talking over someone accidentally or like Zoom, whatever. This one's only 30 minutes. I'm not done with this. <laughs> I gotta keep going. It's Wednesday, still in crunch time. I need to do laundry today so I can pack it tomorrow. Luckily, I feel like packing will be easy for this trip because I already have all my outfits for the actual conference. I feel like this looks too much. I kind of want to take it off. <laughs> oh shoot, okay. Someone's already on the call, so I gotta go. See you guys later. <laughs> a few moments later. Meetings went well and I have a couple hours till my next one and it's lunchtime. I saw an Instagram story of someone's Spotify wrapped. So that means today is the day. I'm so nervous. I filmed myself last year, I think, opening my Spotify wrapped and I was like so let down that I just didn't even include it. So this might be another disappointment. Also, I feel like I didn't really discover that much new music this year. Like, I think it's just gonna be a lot of Taylor Swift. Your 2023 wrapped, your listening took you places. Okay. Provo, I love the Mormons. <laughs> Okay, my number one song was You're On Your Own Kid, Taylor Swift. Number two, Song About You by the band Community. Oh, it went away. What the heck? I wanted to read that. <laughs> Thanks. 1,445 artists this year. Wow. Taylor Swift, of course. <laughs> I'm a top 2% fan. I feel like that's not too bad. If you couldn't get enough of You're On Your Own Kid. <laughs> Sorry. Peak listening month of Taylor Swift was October. <laughs> Wait, this is so funny that they do this. Noah Khan was my number two. My peak listening month was June. That must have been when his EP thing came out. Kelsey Ballerini was number three. February, that's when Rolling Up the Welcome Back came out. Love, love that. The Van Camino again, also June. Okay. And Lizzie McAlpine was my number five. Okay, queen. This makes sense to me. Basically a thank you note. Honestly, it looks like you listened to a lot of my music this year. I, I Doesn't did. Doesn't matter which era you were listening to, I'm very, very grateful to be on your Spotify wrapped. Thanks, Tay. <sighs> Alana's Seeing Other People podcast was my number one. I don't listen to podcasts on Spotify. I actually listen to them on the podcast app, but I must have listened to one of hers on Spotify. So shout out Alana. Tap to reveal, what is this? Alchemist, listening is your laboratory. You create your own playlist more than other listeners do. Wow, I feel like I don't even make that many playlists, but. Okay, so my top songs were You're On Your Own Kid, Song About You by the band Camino. I love that song. Mountain With A View by Kelsey Ballerini, yep. Ceilings by Lizzie McAlpine, iconic. And Penthouse by Kelsey Ballerini. Spot on, Spotify, touche. Okay, obviously I'm gonna share this like everyone else does. I am so hungry, I need to make some food, and then I gotta follow up on my emails on my calls with some emails. You know how it goes. And then the last time Jason and I went on a road trip to Vegas, I got a Coke at Carl Jr. and I was like, oh my Wired. God, can you describe how good it was? And now I'm like salivating thinking about Coca-Cola, but I know that the more I have them, the worse it's gonna get because sugar is so addictive. Yesterday I got Taco Bell for lunch as a treat for making it through my vampire facial, which sounds so funny because it's not like it was a dentist appointment. An unsweetened iced tea instead of a Coke, so I, I am so brave. Dude, this is why Olipop is the best because I mean, I know it's not the same and it doesn't give you the high that Coca-Cola is designed to, but you can like drink it in place and pretend and it does a pretty good job. I do like their root beer and cola flavors. Mm -hmm. I think they're very good. Have you tried uh, cream soda? I have. And I've tried their orange soda one, which I thought was also really good. Yeah, they have some really good alternatives, but I totally get it. It's like when you haven't had something or you drink in alternatives for a long time and then you have like the real full sugar and food coloring and all of that thing. It's like, whoa, this is why people drink this. 
Okay, I finished the workday. Um, it's actually like 6.30 right now, and I found a clip of when um, I talked on the phone with Sierra for a little bit before or after I logged off. So that was really good to catch up with her. We tried to coordinate a FaceTime. It's so hard if you guys have like more than one friend long distance that you try and like have regular FaceTimes with. It's so hard because life is so busy and our schedules like are tricky. So we were trying to FaceTime with Sophie, but she couldn't join. So we just caught up the two of us and it was really nice. I need to leave in like 15 minutes. <laughs> I got swept up. I'm going to meet my friend for drinks, like one of my best friends in the city. I haven't seen her in a couple weeks just because of Thanksgiving and I'm about to leave on my trip. So we wanted to catch up. We're gonna go to a bar in the Freehand Hotel. She has other plans after that. So I'll be able to come back and put away my laundry and like start packing and getting things together here. Um, that's good. I also caught up on some content work that um, they were waiting on me for. So I got that done, but yeah, I gotta run. I'm gonna grab my laundry that is all done now. I just took it, I just put it in the dryer so it's complete. And then I can change and head to meet my friend for drinks. But yeah, it was a really good work day. I got a lot done, but I still have plenty to do tomorrow before we wrap things up and head to Dubai. I'm home reheating some salmon for dinner at 9.45 p.m. It was so good catching up with my friend and we went to Bar Calico in the Freehand Hotel. We walked in and it smelled so strong of incense, but the menu was so cool. It was like a Southwestern kind of theme, a lot of tequila, a lot of mezcal, and it was based on an artist's specific painting. It was on the menu, it was very cool. But yeah, definitely recommend cute little spot in Qusar. There's a lot of like first dates there. Um, <laughs> so first date spot recommendation in Freehand Hotel. I'm putting away the rest of my laundry and like starting to pack. I think I'm gonna put my like specific outfits for each day in separate little packing cubes. Pack the rest tomorrow. I don't think I'll need that many like extracurricular outfits cause I feel like I'm just gonna be in business clothes the whole time but I am checking it back, so I'll have the space. One more day of work and then we are off to Dubai. It is afternoon on Thursday now. And I don't really think I filmed anything today. As soon as I start my day and log on, I'm just like <laughs> This morning I did a workout. I wanted to start my day early. I'm like trying to strategically figure out what a smart approach to like my sleep schedule is gonna be. Um, I think I might honestly bring a Benadryl on the flight because I leave at 10.45 a.m. tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm leaving tomorrow. I need to like get all my documents in order. Um, when I was home, my dad printed out my visa, my like credentials for getting my pass and stuff, which was so kind of him. So I have documents and things that I need to gather. I packed all my outfits, like main conference clothes last night when I got back from the bar. I don't know why I was just like feeling very productive and putting away my laundry and stuff. And now all I have to do is like other miscellaneous clothes, you know, PJs, um, toiletries, and that kind of thing. Anyway, so what I'm getting at is I tried to wake up early today, not even that early, it was like 6.30, um, and go and do a workout. So I did a Peloton ride, and then I came back, showered, washed my hair before I started work, and let it dry halfway, and then I just like blew dry the rest of it. I just sent off the last like major thing that was on our like pre-cop to-do list, on my side at least, and so I'm feeling like much more relief now. I do want to go run an errand. I need to get travel deodorant, travel toothpaste, and something else. I have a list on my phone. Um, so I'm going to run to like CVS or something just before it gets dark out. I'm going to try and go to sleep early tonight because it's like the time difference is so drastic that it's difficult. So I'm going to try and go to sleep early tonight, wake up early tomorrow, probably at like six, which again <laughs> is not even early in the UAE. It's, what is it? Six plus nine minus 12, 3 p.m. <laughs> and then I board my flight at 1045 and we land in Dubai at 815 their time, which is 1115 p.m. New York. So I think my strategy is going to be try and not sleep too much tonight and then be tired when I get on the plane 
stay up for a couple hours if I need to do any work or get anything done, have like the lunch that they serve, and then take a Benadryl and try and sleep for like six to eight hours on the plane in the middle of the day. And then wake up a couple hours before we land because it's a 12 hour flight. So if I'm awake for two, sleep for eight, awake for two, start my day in Dubai, I feel like that could be ideal. Okay, folks, we are done with work for the week. I mean, tomorrow, I guess I'm like technically working because I'll be flying for work, but you know what I mean, not actually working. I'm sitting on a plane all day. So, um, I got everything done. I'm feeling really good about where we're at and it could be much worse, which is all you can hope for before a big work trip. So, I went to CVS, did get a new regular size deodorant and a mini one, mini ones for the trip, regular I just needed and a um, pack of makeup wipes, and what else did I get? I got something else in the travel section. Oh yeah, the toothbrush toothpaste. So basically what I'm doing is I have a main toiletry bag that I'm putting in my checked bag with like larger, you know, items that wouldn't fit in the toiletry or the liquid requirement. And then I have like a little toiletry bag that I'm gonna bring on the plane with me. I don't usually do that, but I feel like because this flight is so long, I'll need that. Like I'm gonna wanna brush my teeth and like, have all the products that I can and do my mini skincare and stuff. I also got a couple snacks to bring on the plane. I'm gonna attempt to use this new work bag I got as my carry-on. I've never done that. I always use a backpack and like overstuff it and it's so heavy, but I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to bring both. So we're gonna try that and put laptop, Kindle, mini toiletry bag, water bottle, papers, a little makeup. But first, I've been filming this thing because I got it in the mail. I ordered this on like a Cyber Monday deal and I finally caved and gotten a humidifier. My skin's so dry, we know this. I just think it would be so nice because you know, when the heater's blasting in the winter, it's pumping even more dry air into your apartment. So I wanna put this by my bed and have some moisture put into the air to hopefully help. It's good if you like have dry mouth and stuff too. Um, for sleeping, so I'm gonna plug this in. It says ideal for 200 feet, square feet, and my apartment is like twice that at least. Um, but near the bed area, I think will be just fine. So I'm gonna plug it in just to like start it up and get it going, and then just use it probably when I sleep. But this is the brand Pore Enrichment. It had good ratings. I'll let you guys know my thoughts once I've actually been using it for a bit. Um, but yeah, I'll link it on my Amazon shop. So. Yeah, and then I got an Aquaphor stick. Dry skin problems again. So, that was that. I had like a last minute um, huddle call on Slack, but I think everything's good to go. I'm gonna pack, eat dinner. I wanna try and like get everything done, done early, and then wrap up this vlog so I can send it to my editor. Ooh, I think this just came apart. Um, it's giving chemistry set. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions, set this guy up, and see what we're working with. Okay, folks, <laughs> we're in night before trip mode. I have teeth cleaning trays in. I'm doing an at-home brow lamination, so I have the solution on right now. I need to like rinse this, the trays and brush my teeth, because it's done, but I do recall that I filmed the first time I used this kit that I got on Amazon, it's like Sarah Gold, and I was thoroughly unimpressed with it, but this time, I think I'm gonna do better. I think I learned my lesson. I used more product. I used way more of the brow lift glue, which I think helped keep them in place as I was applying the solution. So I think they'll be better. And I applied just like more of everything because I was like kind of intimidated before. So I didn't put that much, but I think this will be better. <laughs> so this is processing. I'm gonna take these out and then I'll show you guys my toiletries and how I'm finishing packing and that'll be it. Here's my toiletry setup. I have this little clear bag. This is Zuka and it zips all the way open. Monday, travel size shampoo conditioner. I have a mini, it's a 10. I have my makeup wipes I bought. I have unseen sunscreen mini, a couple eye creams, my toners in here. I'm bringing the like hair slicking stick, but I don't imagine I'm actually gonna do that. I don't plan to use that for my hair, but who knows? If I need to like slick it up, then I wanna have that. And body wash, I have the room anyway. Skin barrier cream, Q-tips, my triple repair moisturizing cream. I have a little nail kit with a nail file. Usually this is in my backpack, but since I'm not doing my backpack 
for my carry-on. I'm just throwing it in there. And a little Marin skincare soothing cream. Bringing a razor, Sika Blast, La Roche Posay. Underneath are my ordinary serums. Hyaluronic Acid, Barrier Serum, um, whatever the peptide one is. In here I have a couple hair ties, clips, bobby pins, whatever I might need. And that is the toiletry bag that's going in my check bag. So then in here, all my work clothes are on this side, like I said. And then this side is all of my extra clothes. I have like a couple casual outfits. I don't really imagine I'm gonna <laughs> be wearing them much because I don't think we're like gonna be doing, having much free time. But just in case, and then PJs and like a sweatshirt for the flight back. Um, my outfit for the flight there is gonna be like comfy, smart, like not bad looking, like not too, whatever. And then going back, I'm gonna be wearing leggings and a hoodie and I don't really care because it's gonna be two in the morning. And then I have shoes, I have slides and booties. I don't plan to wear these, but they are comfortable and if I do end up needing to switch to them instead of these heels, which I'm wearing around, <laughs> my apartment right now to like break in more um yeah so that's that and that'll pretty much complete my suitcase i'm trying to think if i need to add anything else last minute i have my straightener i'm charging my kindle right now i have my humidifier going other than that i'll show you my other toiletry bag sunglasses are in here plain snack jewelry i gotta put in my other bag this is the toiletries that i'm bringing on the plane with me so i have a mini living proof the best freaking dry shampoo. I have my uh, Summer Fridays jet lag mask, a roller ball of perfume, Tatcha, moisturizer. I did throw this little, it's a mini of the flawless filter, but I think what's actually in it is the e.l.f. Um, dupe. Toothpaste, little deodorant, hair tie, lotion, perfume, eye cream, kind of like general necessities in there and i'll just put that in my carry-on so yeah this is what i'm wearing on the plane i'm wearing linen pants it's gonna be hot once i get to dubai so linen pants white tee and then i have this tan hoodie i'll like throw it around my shoulders once i get there to look like not as not like it's a hoodie <laughs> and then makeup i also have to pack but that'll go in last so yeah that's where we're at feeling pretty good feeling prepared it's only oh it's 9 15 now i thought it was like eight <laughs> okay well this is not accurate Oh my god, imagine if it was 2020. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this and then pretty much I'm ready for bed. I already packed like my passport, my documents. I just have to throw everything that's going in my carry-on in there and then I'm set. I have my taxi scheduled for 7.30 a.m. My alarm is set and we're ready for Dubai, more or less. So yes, I am gonna be vlogging what I can. I'm not gonna be like whipping out my camera and talking much in the middle of the conference, but it's also like a huge space and I would like to get some behind the scenes clips and like show you guys what COP is like um, just because I feel like that's not something that you see very often on social media so yeah it's gonna be a whirlwind I'm not bringing this camera I'm just gonna vlog on my phone but there will be a vlog hopefully of some sort or at least like in my next vlog I'll include footage and talk about it so stay tuned love you guys so much thank you so much for your support follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I'll be posting real time so if you're watching this before Thursday <laughs> December 7th at 2 a.m. Check out my Instagram and TikTok so you can see what I'm doing in real time. But love you guys. I'll see you next time in Dubai. Bye.